Make some noise. Hello, everybody. Okay, uh, I, I am the last presenter of the day, and I'm honored to be in that position. Every train needs a caboose, and that's what I represent in this conference. So just so I know what everybody's name is, on the count of three, would you all please say your names? Ready? One, two, three. I just heard Chelsea. That was it. <laughs> Try again, please. One, two, three. Okay, that's better. That's better. If you want to turn your chair so that you're facing me, I think that's a good idea. I'm going to be talking for about the next half hour. I've asked the mic ladies. Wave your hands, please, mic ladies. Those three ladies right there. Could you move over just a little bit because you're going to cover that whole part of the room? A big part of it. Please turn your chairs around. Get comfortable. Get comfortable. So what we're going to talk about today, what my presentation is, is my presentation is on creativity. And you've heard a lot of use of this word, maybe too much use of this word in the last little bit of time, but creativity is one of the most amazing features that we have, one of the most amazing gifts that we can give to the rest of the world is how we think differently than everybody else. So we're going to talk about creativity and what it is. We're going to talk about how the brain works that allows you to be creative. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about some of the artists and writers I've worked with in the music business and how they access their creativity. We're going to talk about the rules of group creativity because all of you, when you go finish, you have to go make your challenge and make it work. Group creativity has to, you have to figure that out. How do you work together and get the most out of everybody? Not the person who just talks the loudest, but the person who sits there and listens the most and goes, oh, wait a second, I have an idea. So there are very specific rules that I'm going to talk to you about. And then at the end, in the last 10 or 12 minutes or so, we're all going to write a song together. Okay, how many of you are songwriters? Okay, when you leave here today, you will all be songwriters. Okay, and you all have written your first song. All you guys who haven't written, there we go. Okay, PowerPoint. Let's go. Every Idea is a Good Idea is the title of my book. And I am, I am presenting you ideas and pages from this book. One more ground rule. This is meant to be a conversation, not just me talking, but you answering and listening. So when I ask a question, stick your hand up. The, the mic lady will be right there. Go over and talk to her. Don't make her run to you, because I want this to be up-tempo and make full use of the time we have together. Everybody okay with that? Everybody looking forward to writing a song with me? It's going to be the coolest thing, I tell you. I, if it works. But it's like a magician making the elephant disappear. I mean, uh, we'll see what happens. So, first question, what is creativity? First question, what is creativity? Put your hand up. There, oh, by the way, there's no wrong answers in anything that we say. Anybody, creativity. Go, what is it? Uh, creativity is anything that comes into your mind. Beautiful. Creativity is anything that comes into oh, your mind. Um, creativity is self-expression. Beautiful. Oh. Creativity is self-expression. Young lady. Ideas. Ideas. Beautiful. We're at the Aspen Ideas uh, put this thing together. Young uh, the, man. The ability to cogitate about certain ideas upon your own ways and think outside the box. Beautiful. I love that. That's a great definition. Young man right here. You can go over and ask. Jump up and don't lose the tempo. Go. Innovation of the mind. Say it again. Innovation of the mind. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Young man. Something new. Something new. What else is creativity? Come on. Uh, one of a kind. One, or who said that? Love it. One of a kind. A brand. Okay, go ahead. Uh, free will. Interesting. Creativity is free will. I love that. Here are some things that people have said about creativity because everybody's got their own way to discuss it and say what it is. Uh, sorry, I'm actually using paper here. There it is. Um, there's a doctor, Dr. Eric Weissel, who said that creativity is so important, it should be considered a religion, which I think is a little too much, but that's his opinion. <laughs> There's a woman named Allie Willis. Have you ever heard of Allie Willis? Have you ever? Okay, Allie Willis wrote the, the theme song to Friends. Okay, and uh, she wrote the lyrics to The Color Purple. She's an amazing, amazing creator. She says that the path to self-respect is through creativity. What is the one word you cannot say in a group creativity situation? What? No. 
is the worst. That is, it's like telling somebody they got bad breath. I mean, everything stops. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I do? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Have you got any gum? Have you? It's just, it's, and you can watch ideas run back into their little hole, never to be seen again. So as you're doing this, do not use the word no. Okay? It's very, very important. Find other ways to say it. Three responses to a new idea. What do you think these three responses are? Let me hear. Explain. Okay. I wouldn't have put that, but that's okay. Keep going. Young lady at the back. Let's try it out. Let's try it out is an excellent response. Yes, right here. What if? That nice lady was talking about yesterday. Yes, you right behind? A constructive criticism. Okay. Here are my guidelines for the three responses to a new idea. A compliment. Great idea. Fantastic. Love that. A building block, like she just said. You make it better. Right? How about we take your idea and we do such and such? And the number three most important response to a new idea is to say nothing. If you can't make it better and you can't find a compliment, sit there. <laughs> Seriously, go get something to drink. I mean, do not, just, do not just jump up because you think you need to say something. One of the guys who, who I interviewed for this book... He, uh, he created the Mary Tyler Moore Show, one of the seminal television shows. He says the most important thing about the room, the TV writer's room, which is one of the most creative places in the world, is that people need a right to take a big swing and miss. Do you understand this concept? To take, like, you have to go into your group and say, okay, this sounds crazy, but... And throw whatever it is out there. You have to, get, you have, to have that freedom within the room. And the room is the only organization then can give people that freedom. Vital that you have, be able to have a big idea. He said it would be a criminal act to have a great idea and be afraid to present it because you're worried about being laughed at. Okay? Questions on that? It's vital. Okay. Very interesting. Has everybody heard of the Beatles? It was, it was Paul McCartney's other band. So when they were writing in the very beginning, and this is like you guys with your collaboration, they had a rule together, right? And that is that they would never criticize each other's work. They would only make the next part better. Right? This ultimately became the greatest songwriting partnership in the history of the universe. They didn't criticize. They just made the next part better. So if you're... And it's a similar to this idea of just improving on somebody's idea. So if somebody brings an idea to you, whether it's you're writing a song or creating a musical or solving one of these challenges that's up in front of you, don't criticize, just make the next thing better. Oh, I, hey, yeah, I know, and then we'll blank. 